here's a cut out of a hand and I want to put this badge behind the thumb so the hand is holding it. And I'm going to do that using a layer mask. We'll go to layer, layer mask and reveal all to make a new empty mask. Switch to the brush tool and where you paint in black on the mask it hides the layer. Now it doesn't matter if you go over the edges because the layer is hidden and not erased. All you have to do to get it back is to paint in white and the X key will swap over the foreground and background colours. Now we can go through it more carefully and paint in the area that was hidden. Again it doesn't matter if you make a mistake because you can always paint in white again to reveal the area that you've just hidden. And there is the mask. If you click on the layer you can switch to the move tool and move it around. The trouble is the mask moves with it, so let's undo. To stop the mask moving, click on this little chain icon between the layer and the mask, and now you can move the layer independently of that mask and put it wherever you like. So why would we want to do it this way rather than simply making a new layer from the thumb? Well, it's very convenient to keep the whole of the hand on one layer. We could select this hand and apply a curves adjustment to it to darken up that hand. We couldn't do that if the thumb was a separate layer. 